Hi, Mess Bankup here from Kaiser Power Electronics. I'm here with a box that I got today. It's straight in from China, only six day, 16 days uh, on the way. It is a 1.8 kilowatt induction heater. This is one of the cheapest um, set, double, uh, set VS uh, zero voltage switching um, type of induction heaters. I'm, I'm really excited to see how much I'm getting for my 40 euros with including postage from China in just a mere six, 16 days. So let's get this package opened. Well, this ain't exactly uh, a knife like Dave's, but this is a, a small pocket knife with my own uh, name engraved in it that I got as a kit. So I still have that. Good amount of yellow China tape here. Okay, at least it's, as the box was pretty beat up, so it's good to see there's some plastic parts in here. Okay, there's the work coil. I think this is actually the first time I see something I bought cheap from China actually come in a anti-static bag. And away with that noisy thing. Yeah, so straight away we can already see here there's an inductor here that has uh, broken off the PCB. The whole PCB is, is just bent. Can you see that? The, uh, the fans can't even be there, so it's bending the, uh, the entire PCB inwards or outwards from the component side. This is the small fan driver, yeah, that's broken off the board. That's the pin header there. Well, this is a disappointment so far. Screws for the fans are not fastened. Other than that, it just looks like it has uh, four MOSFETs, one for each uh, heat sink and then a whole lot of uh, capacitors in there. Just look at this, the solder, soldering job here, it's, it's, it's horrific. Oh well, you get what you pay for. So I guess I'll have to uh, either file a complaint about this or just repair it myself. I will take this uh, induction heater apart and uh, we will see a little bit uh, how it's uh, constructed and what's behind these two fans. But first I think I'm gonna need a beer for this and I accidentally noticed that the heating coil actually seems to fit perfect around a, a beer mm -hmm. here. So first things first, cheers. So let's see what kind of, okay that's not even, it's like half of this uh, induction heater is not really pro properly put together. Another half of it is just impossible to really, yeah, everything just falls apart here. As you can probably hear, I'm still not that um, impressed by the build quality of this. I we'll also have a few modifications that I would like to do. I'm not a big fan of how they placed these uh, coil connections. Because if you take a look here, then we would have the coil mounted like this. And yeah, you would have your 
hoses for the cooling water going in here, that seems quite stupid. You have no access under the fan, so I will move these uh, standoffs to the um, to the back side here and just have it here instead. Let's get rid of these. So I need to get this inductor soldered back in place. And I would have liked to check out if there were any um, heat sink paste under these. Does not seem like there is anything, and I can't really get in there with a screwdriver to uh, get it out without jerking too much with the uh, resonant capacitors. Now this is what I meant with uh, moving the um, heating coil to the back side. Now there is easy access for cooling water. I can mount it like this and if I have any water dripping it won't go down into the electronics. Or if I had mounted upside down with the fans before, the water would drip down into fans blowing it right into the electronics again. So it's a much better, much, uh, better solution to place this on the back side. Now uh, as you could see at the last part of the uh, time lapse, I had one of the MOSFETs um, yeah, almost uh, off the heatsink and there's absolutely no uh, thermal compound uh, between the MOSFET and the heatsink in this unit. A couple of the resonant capacitors in order to get access to the uh, screws um, holding the MOSFETs to the heatsinks. And as you can see here, not a single drop of heat transferring compound. And I would say that three out of four screws were, were not even fastened enough to keep the MOSFET securely against the heatsink surface. So uh, let's get some um, thermal paste on these uh, heatsinks and put it all together again.